hello um today i'm actually going to do something a little bit different and i am going to play with all drugstore makeup um yes i still work with lime life i still love it but that's not to say that in the past that i haven't used other products that have worked fine for an everyday use and um one of the things that I really enjoy doing is empowering women and men to be their best self and feel beautiful and confident um, in whatever they're doing. And that comes at a variety of price points. And some people, their price point is drugstore makeup. And I play with everything. Um, you know, I've gotten lashes at the dollar store and they're kind of fab. Um, I don't get makeup there because I don't... Um, that one's a touchy one because some of the manufacturers that they get it from are not, um, they don't adhere to American standards for um, manufacturing. So you're not really sure what you're getting in a product. So I'd be really careful with some of the makeup unless it's a name that you know, because um, sometimes they get various stuff. Um, but I'm gonna go through some of the stuff that I use and play with um, and have used in the past. And there's a couple of companies that I really, that are my favorites. Um, one is I've always been a wet and wild girl. Like it was, it was the first thing that I stole from my mom and I would steal her black eyeliner and it worked. Um, you know, it's not something that I keep in my kit cause it's not a professional product. Um, but one of my favorite things is their lipsticks. So we're gonna be using this one a little bit later. I love this color, like how pretty is that? Um, these things are matte, long wearing. I mean like ridiculously long wearing. They will transfer because it's not a long, it's not a, um, it's not designed as a long wearing lipstick. So they will transfer, but I'm not gonna lie. I wore a wet and wild lipstick on my wedding day. I absolutely did. Um, because I like the color and this stuff stays on really well. So one of my, one of my favorite things. Um, the other company that I really like is NYX. So do you think I like it? I also, where is it? Their eyeshadow primer. Their, what are we calling this one? Retractable eyeliner that is water resistant is one of my favorites. Um, black eyeliner is my obsession, black eyeshadows. Um, so we'll talk about that in a second. And then the other company, so NYX, we're also gonna use their foundation because um, I think it's a girl, but it has to shake up like crazy. Um, I think it's a great, so one of the things I love about NYX is um, all of the really popular products that you're gonna get in another um, another brand or another company, they have a version of it. And quite often they're pretty good. Like they have, it seems like they have different tiers of quality for certain things, but um, their HD Studio Foundation is kind of, it works. Um, and so the other company that I like is Maybelline. So I'm gonna show you, this one is a little bit embarrassing because do you see how well loved those two shadows are? Like they're beyond pan. Um, but thankfully I got stuck the other day and I was out of the house and I had somewhere to go, um, which is part of the inspiration for this. I had somewhere that I had to go and I had to look presentable and I hadn't put on a, any makeup yet. Um, so I said, let me grab an old standby because I'm out of the house. I have to put on makeup. I'm meeting people. Um, I'm meeting people for dinner and I would like to look a little more presentable than I did at the time. I mean, I had to go buy like a shirt and all sorts of other stuff because I had jeans on and the jeans were fine, but I had to buy a new top and I had to buy makeup. So I ran into Target and I grabbed something cute really quick. Um, because I just didn't leave my house prepared. I wasn't, I didn't think that I was gonna be out that long um, before I, I thought I was gonna have a chance to go home and change and get my makeup done and whatnot. So this is the Maybelline Natural Smokes 02Q. So if you can read that backwards, 
Um, so these are fun because on the back, it also tells you the placement of the different colors. And then in a new palette, it tells you base, lid, crease, and liner. So let's do that again. Base, lid, crease, and liner. So it tells you, um, it gives you a little bit of a roadmap of where to put the colors to have a really nice effect. So we'll talk in a minute about, about what all of that means. But I am so obsessed with the Maybelline Nude Palettes that this is different ones. I don't even use them, but I buy them all the time. So this one I use because this is, so there's two of them that I use. So for a larger palette, these colors are included in here. Um, the blushed nudes is another one that I use all the time because I really like some of these softer colors. They're the rock nudes that I might have used one color out of here. These still all have little eyeshadow ones in them, um, which is why I'm not opening them because I don't want the wands to fall out, but how pretty is that? So that's the rock nudes. Oh, apparently I've used two colors. Um, every once in a while I'll go through and I'll try to um, grab these and play with them just for, just because. I mean, why not? Like. Use all the crayons in the crayon box. Um, this is the the smokes. Like how lovely are these colors? And one of, actually I like this wand better than the other one because it has a little tip that you can use for like a liner, which I was hoping the palette that I bought would have, but it didn't because I actually had to, um, I didn't have anything with me and I couldn't find a decent little brush set while I was there. So I was using the little wands that come with it to try to put my makeup on, which is always a good time. Um, so there's two more palettes, the 24 karat nudes. I think some of these were like a hot minute that it was available. Look how pretty. And these on the back also, let me close it, give you the quads, trios, and duos if you wanna do color combinations. So I kind of love that it makes it foolproof for, um, you know, trying to put a look together and trying to come up with other ideas. And then this one is super fun. I keep throwing the little wands. And this one has a black, which is always fabulous. Um, it's not as black as the blacks that I like, but it's a black. And this is fun for like some fun, super vibrant colors if you wanna do something a little fancy. Um, You've heard me talk before about shadows being wet dry. These actually work okay as a wet dry shadow. Um, not amazing, but okay. So there are some Lime Life products I'm still going to be using um, because I have not found anything that I like better. Um, to be perfectly honest, I didn't. Uh, so one of the products I'm definitely using is our primer and setting sprays. Um, because there's nothing that I've found on the market that works better. Um, I personally didn't use primer and setting sprays prior to having these, so those are definitely getting used. So let's, let's get some primer on. And the way the company tells you to do it is a T and an X so that you cover the entire face. And then I wait for that to dry. I keep my eyes closed while I'm doing it because I want that to dry on the eyes so it doesn't crease. Um, so this is also a really nice moment to like, if you're getting ready in the morning, just have a zen moment. Or if you're getting ready for an event, take a couple of deep breaths and wait for it to dry. And you hear my dog in the background because he's probably talking to the male person because they have a love-hate relationship. So we are dry. Now we're going in with another primer because I like my eyes. That's not it. Um, they look very similar. I like my eyeshadow primer to set a little bit and not have it um, really wet as I, trying to get it on there, as I um, am doing my shadow. Now when I'm doing my own makeup, I will often use my fingers for a lot of things. So I'm really working this into the entire eye area, including in the corner right here. 
If you want to be really fancy, use your ring finger. It is the most gentle. But for me personally in the morning, when I'm getting ready for work, I'm quite often running late and I just need stuff to happen. Um, this eyeshadow primer from just rub a little under there because we put shadow there from NYX um, works really well. I mean, I still get a really decent amount of color payoff with whatever I'm using. Um, and like I said, I like to let it dry. So I use my first base makeup primer. Um, I have, because I wore these out, I did buy at one point the individual colors. So this is 250S Tastefully Taupe. <coughs> Excuse me. And 15S, which is linen. Excuse me. <coughs> I got a tickle. Excuse me. Um. So now for brushes, I'm going to be using some various brushes that I have, um, some ELF, ELF, because they kind of do what I need them to do. And then these are no name brushes that are synthetic and I have had them since I was in cosmetology school 20 something years ago, but they still do what I need them to do. So why not use them? Um, so now I'm gonna go in with my eyeshadow. Let me take these little buggers out. And we're gonna talk about placement. So we're gonna go in with the base first. And for that, I take a pretty large fluffy brush. This is just like a no-name brush. And I get a nice big coating. And I have kind of a deep set eye, so I like this to be what seems kind of like very noticeable. Um, if you are a newer, newer makeup artist and you're looking to play with color and placement, um, these palettes, especially the 12 color palettes, are not super expensive. So it's a good way to play with color placement and blending. Um, you're not going to get the same payoff that you would with a more professional shadow. Um, so they're going to move around differently. But it's not a bad way to start playing with some color. So that is the first one with kind of just a loose fluffy brush. Now this is an ELF brush and they're calling it a contour brush. Um, so I'm going to go in with the, actually, I'm going to start with the crease color and I'm just dabbing it onto the tip of the brush and then I'm going to tap it into the corner right here and work it into the outer crease just a little bit. And for this, I really just do kind of like a tapping. So now actually I'm going to brush some of it off because I don't want to have the residue on there. And then I'm going to go in with the lid color. And I start with a really light, um, really light touch. And you see how that all just blended in together. Now this is how I do makeup for my eyes. When I start doing it on other people, it's based off of the look they want to have, their eye shape, um, the event, there's a lot of variables. This just happens to be what I do for my eyes. Um, 
we're not looking even. So I'm still going in with like a really light touch here. And now I'm gonna go back in with my base color. And this is kind of looking like a cut crease, um, but it's not that dramatic. And then I just kind of do like a big swipe over everything to make sure it's all blended. So, then we're gonna go with another ELF brush because why not? So this one is an eyeshadow C brush from ELF. And I'm going into the color for the crease and I'm just tapping it on the edge and I'm going under my lash line. So this is still gonna give me the smoky effect, but having all of this light color in here is gonna bring my eyes open. Instead of having like a dark color right there on the lid, I still get that smoky effect out on the corner because it's out on like the outer third, but that light color in there is really giving me um, a more open look to my eyes so that they don't look smaller. Even though it's a smoky eye sort of look, I still want my eyes to look nice and open. So now, this is a clean brush and this is what they're saying is the liner shadow. So this is a little Frankenstein brush that I made and it is the brush tip from an ELF gel liner and then like a base from an ELF brush that fell apart. Um, so I'm gonna go in there with the liner. And because this is a new um, palette, I'm gonna use it as eyeliner also. But I need, I need one other thing first. So I'm gonna be using my 10 Years Younger setting spray to spray the brush. I'm spraying it over my sink so that I don't end up with it everywhere. And just work it in on the back of my hand. So I'm going back into that liner color. And just working a little bit of liner in there. So, those are the eyeshadows. Now, because I love a black eyeliner, I'm gonna be going back in with my NYX Retractable, and I'm gonna use this, it's my personal one. I'm using it in my waterline, because you want something that's water resistant in your waterline. But this is, I mean, the waterline is a personal, personal preference, so. And then I start dragging it towards from the outer to the inner corner and I just tap on the inside to get a little bit of the effect without having too much. The right and the left are always gonna feel a little bit different because of how you just body mechanics. So that's my little smoky eye. Now a little something else that I used to love. I don't even know that this is gonna work anymore. So this is a Maybelline Master Graphic Eyeliner. I have not used this in so long, it probably doesn't work. But I love the tip on it because what I would do is just, let's see if we can get it to work tap on the outside here, oh it's barely working, and then drag that in for my light wing. Do that, let's do the other side. Yeah, it's not, um, probably 
probably needs to be tossed. And you wanna check your wing with your eyes open so that you see where it's falling. But this one's a fun little one and I kind of think of it like a Sharpie marker. Um, so there's that. So now I'm gonna go in with my first coat of mascara. This is L'Oreal Voluminous Black. Um, it's just a makeup artist favorite for many years. I've tried ones from NYX, from, well, I've tried all of them. I bought one of the, well, I worked in Sephora, so I tried everything there at one point in time. And I bought one of the like little sample size kits from Sephora as well and tried everything there. Um, you know, depends on what you're working on. But you see it's nice and smoky, eyes are still open. So now we're gonna go in with a little bit of foundation. And I always put it on the back of my hand just to, or actually, because I don't feel like putting it on the back of my hand. This is a um, professional company brush. This is Royal Langenickel. Um, these are a lot of the brushes that I had in my kit. I just put it on there and then work it around. I'm looking at my mirror behind here. So I have not used this in a while and it is not quite the color match that it was at one point in time. I'm gonna need another drop. So, because this is not a full coverage foundation and I need a little bit more coverage, I'm tapping it into the areas where I want to have a little bit more coverage. and just really lightly buffing it. Tapping it with a brush like this is also a good way to blend out some brush strokes if you're having them. All right, I think that's good. We're gonna put this aside because I wash all of my cream powder, cream brushes as I use them. And I'm gonna let that do what it's doing for a minute so that I don't pick up a ton of blush. But um, I'm kind of giggling to myself at like what a color match this is not at the moment. Um, but it used to be apparently at some point in time. But that's also one of the difficult things about buying something from a drugstore. Um, one of the good things is a lot of stuff is return or exchangeable. So if it's not working for you, you can return it. But obviously I purchased this a long time ago. Um, so that's not going to get returned. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit of blush. So this is actually, a, they're calling it a highlighter um, or an illuminator. Um, I've had it for a while. I don't even know if they have these anymore. I haven't seen them. Not that I've been looking, but I haven't seen them. It's called IBB02 Chaotic. I know it's all backwards, but 
So. Another. So this is from the same company as before, Royal Langenickel. Um, and I was drawn to them as a professional because I've used attempting to be an artist at various points in my life, um, which if you know me, I've spoken about um, not being incredibly artistic. Um, I can't draw, I can't paint, but I think I do a decent job with hair and makeup and nails and whatnot. So that's where, that is where my art lies. Um, but it is a brush company that makes brushes for artists as well as makeup artists. Um, so it was a name I knew and gravitated towards for a number of years. Um, I no longer have a drugstore bronzer, so I can't use that. But we're gonna go in with our finishing spray. Again, the T and the X. Wait for it to dry because the spray is on the eyes, so I wanna make sure that dries without creating any creasing. And don't make any funny faces because you don't wanna have like lines or anything from facial expressions. Um, so I wait. Again, another Zen moment. This smells lovely. It smells um, very spa-like. And if you've seen some of my other videos, you know I talk about how the primer and the setting sprays bond together to really like lock in your makeup. So while I'm waiting for it to dry, it is bonding together and locking in my makeup. So regardless of whether of what company you're using or what makeup you're using, it's still gonna have that technology that is going to create that locked in effect, which is super awesome. I'm gonna put on another coat of mascara because why not? And for the second coat, I typically just go, I focus on the outer lashes because those are the ones that are gonna elongate and create that almond shaped eye. And if you, I'm gonna do something. If you get a dab of mascara on your eye, like I just did to myself on purpose, leave it, let it dry. So I'm gonna put on my lip. This is Wet n Wild 902C. Isn't this a gorgeous nude? Let's work that in a drop. So this is one of my favorite nude combos. So 902C with NYX in Stockholm. So this just gives it a little more beigey, a little more creamy. but the Wet n Wild gives it a drop more staying power. So let's see, what do I have here? Um, I would, let's see, you might have, I don't wanna take the eyeshadow off, so I'm not gonna go in with a makeup remover. This little brush roll doesn't have one, so. Let's grab, these are my Lime Life brushes. I need a clean spoolie. So what this spoolie is going to do is just brush off. You go in lightly and it just brushes off that mascara. While I'm at it, because this is all I do to my brows, all set. So this is my little drugstore makeup look. 
I can't tell you where to find the products because you're going to find them in a local store near you, but it is possible to create a look using only drugstore makeup. Um, I do it when I'm in a pinch. Um, I do it for someone that their price point is not at the makeup that I retail or department store makeup. Um, because everyone has a different budget. Everyone has different things that they're working on. So, you know, or even if somebody has a great budget and their priority is spending their money places other than makeup, you can still create a lovely look using drugstore makeup. Um, so pretty much everything I used was Maybelline NYX and a little bit, uh, including ELF brushes. Um, because they're not horrible. They're not gonna last you forever, but they're not horrible. Um, if you do get them, I do recommend the ones with the black handle. The ones with the white handle um, are not great. They're really not. They fall apart pretty easily. And the bristle, the bristle quality is not as good. Um, so I would recommend, like, I use this one occasionally, but I'll be perfectly honest with you, the amount of dye that comes out of these bristles is ridiculous. Um, so I don't use that anymore, but so NYX, Maybelline, a little bit of Wet n Wild and a little bit of um, L'Oreal and then a little bit of Limelight because the setting sprays are Lime Life. Um, the setting sprays are better than anything else on the market. So, you know, it's for me, it's them or nothing. But uh, please like, share, subscribe if you have any questions or if there's any particular look that you would like to see, please let me know. I would be happy to accommodate. And uh, I hope you all have a great afternoon. I will talk to you later.